My first Hollywood offer was something called Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise and Barry Levinson and I was going to get an Oscar nomination for it and um, my mom was very proud of me and suddenly I could pay my bills. Barry and I very quickly decided on we were going to only have two rules, no jangly guitars and no big string section because when you see a road movie you get the jangly guitar so you get the string section. So we thought we'll do it differently. The more I kept looking at the character of Raymond, of Rain Man himself, the more I, I thought he might as well be on Mars, he doesn't know where he is. I can be as foreign as I want to be. So I, I thought about writing this sort of African, Cuban, electronica, hodgepodge, thing that the only thing that it had was it had a tune which never quite added up to anything and it was like I mean actually if you took the whole score of Rain Man and put all the cues together you would actually get the completion of the tune as it is it's always interrupted by things interfering just like Raymond's thought process. We can't take credit for discovering Hans Zimmer but we can certainly take credit for bringing be the first being the first American movie that he did and it's uh, you know it's one of his, one of his better scores he was nominated for an oscar but it, it really kicked off i think one of the most imaginative composers out there ray 